Guys, for any cheat points, anything like that, FIFA coins, any games, anything you need, really, go and check out MuleFactory.com. You see the link here, guys? It is down below in the description. Use Owen FIFA at checkout. As you can see, they sell loads of different coins, ranging from like 2K if you need a few little coins just to start trading, maybe. Or there are big amounts, like you go down here, like you see, 150K or whatever. They are cheap prices, guys. Obviously, right now, prices are quite high due to FIFA just coming out. But make sure you check them out, guys, in the description and use Owen FIFA for a discount. Hey guys, what is going on over today? Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Video should be out on Sunday, and if it is, that's uh, me up to schedule basically. So, I'm going to be showing you today, guys, the best players to invest in from this team of the week. Obviously, bringing it out on Sunday, I'd recommend to invest in these on Monday probably. Um, but we have all the different players here, like you can see. So there's three, probably do five to recommend this week, top five recommended. And um, the first one is definitely going to be Hirodeki. You see here, this guy is going for probably 25k, maybe not even that, like 21k now. I mean, he's 85 rated. Basically, all I'm thinking is for SBCs, this guy is going to be, he's even below that, he's 19k now. Um, I did buy a couple at 22 and stored them, but um, yeah, not really... A mad amount of um, profit maybe on him, but it'll be one of those players that's guaranteed to rise because of SBCs. Let's say it's a Bundesliga player of the month and it requires an informal and 85 rated team, this guy's gonna shoot. Um, that's the first one. For me, the second one, it was a bit of a risky one, this Jorginho, but the guy is literally 20k, and you can't really go wrong. He's not incredible stats wise, but he'll get used in teams just because he's prem and in form, and he is quite high rated. Like, you can't go wrong with players like this. I mean, they're just really, really good value. Um, and obviously, if you're patient enough, time goes on, they get really rare, and obviously, they rise up an awful lot. The third one for me it was definitely Berjuin. This guy has been really changing around in price quite a lot, but he seems to have settled now at around 28k. He was about 30, high 30s the other day. He's came down a bit now, and he really is just starting to like lapse at this price. So, it is a recommended buy at this price for sure. If you're enjoying the videos, guys, lately, sorry for the video over the last few days. My grandma's been in hospital, and I've just spent every day there. I'm literally at the weekend now making like seven videos ready for next week because I don't know how much I'll be here and everything so hopefully we can get all that sorted and whatever but yeah um, you see here loads of different um, virgins there. there's plenty up to buy like there's not obviously a place where there isn't enough and then we have Theo Hernandez this is another one that's a bit risky but he'll get used in weekend league teams I mean look at his stats he's six foot as well and I mean he's got good physical and really fast as well so I mean he's around 52k I think pick him up for 52 or less basically don't pay more than that he might have dropped even more by the time the video comes out the video won't be out till Sunday evening it is Sunday morning now um, so yeah let's see if they do change it all then another one that is risk free for me is Wesley because he's quite high rated, he's prem and he's about 14k, you can't really lose on him and his stats, he looks like a flipping animal to be honest, I mean, I think he'll get used it's just a shame about his weak foot only being 3 in skill, if it was 4-4 it'd be absolutely like free money um, then I have the last place it will slot guys, there's going to be a couple of little ideas because they're the guaranteed ones to me, this next one is a risky one, I'm going to give you two actually basically, Semedo is a risky one because he's so expensive, like say if somebody else gets an inform from uh, the BBVA is going to make him probably drop so that's a risky one for me I maybe stay away from that one but for me I mean a Mobley again is too expensive like, he's not an 80k player for me Plea would be the one that I went with he's literally 20k and maybe even less 16k and I mean he has 4 star skills he's 5'11 he's decent pace I mean he's got incredible everything else sort of dribbling passing he's got everything really he can play him as a cam striker centre forward so he'd be the one that I went and picked up guys I hope you enjoyed this video I mean if you've got any more questions down below put them in the comments or follow me on twitter and ask me questions over there i do try and reply to everything but yeah thanks for watching guys i'll see you all next time with a brand new